the Chicago Bears are turning the team over to a Panther, a Whitmer Panther, that is. It is official. Toledo and Matt Eberflus takes the reins as the 17th head coach in franchise history, replacing Matt Nagy. He's been in the league since 2009, working with linebackers in Cleveland and Dallas before becoming the Colts defensive coordinator in 2018. But his history in football and the 419 runs a lot deeper. Matt Eberflus is a Toledo and through and through, a Whitmer Panther and Toledo Rocket player and coach. Many of the people who know him and love him are Toledoans too, and they're all feeling the same things today. In the past 52 years of my life, I've known all 51 of his. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, a, it's just something that's special. Like his cousin, George Bardwell, still in town as owner of Whiskey in the Wolf. We started obviously playing together from seventh grade until we were seniors in 88. He was a perfectionist on the field. He was just a detailed, well thought out, Player. They'll all tell you that too. Iberflus was a fierce competitor on Pat Cachardo Senior's Panther teams. All league, couple of years, and he ends up being all state, and he takes us to the semifinals in 1987. He's a genuine, real deal, quality guy. Guys like Matt make us all proud. Even in other sports like basketball, which Matt played under Rick Cafus. I'm gonna tell you what, he was an ultra competitor. I mean, you had to stay, when he got mad in practice, you had to stay away from him because I'm going to tell you, he was going to take somebody out. It's just the way he was. Matt's junior year, we went to the state final four. Uh, we won the district three straight years, 87, 88, and 89. Great team asset. You know, it was all for the team. He started for three years at UT as a linebacker under three head coaches, Dan Simrell, Nick Saban, and Gary Pinkle. He became Pinkle's protege, working his way up from student assistant in 1992 to defensive backs coach in 2000. A constant, the defensive coordinator, Tom Amstutz, saw a quality player, coach, and guy. I went to the same high school as him, and we had a very unique connection even uh, when he was a player because, you know, we had the same high school background, and we were, we were close, you know, um, and I just know that, uh, what a hard worker he was. His players will love him. He'll be uh, a fired up kind of guy. He'll paint a clear picture for his players, have them setting goals and really striving. Glass City to the Windy City, a coaching journey of 30 years, and soon to be a weekend journey for family, friends, and colleagues. Pat Charter and I are very good friends, and uh, he already said to me today, he says, you know what? Will you be willing to make, I said, I'm always willing to make a trip to Chicago to see Matt, especially. Just by his text to me, he said, uh, thank you, Coach K. I appreciate you and your great example of what it is to be a great coach. You know, 